Greetings, viewers of 2230. In a recent move to tackle the rising menace of scams, Singapore's Infocom Media Development Authority, IMDA, announced on January 4 that four major telecommunications companies, Singtel, Starhub, M1, and Simba, will be providing international call blocking services to mobile phone customers starting January 5. With about 1.6 billion international calls received in Singapore, scammers operating overseas have become increasingly sophisticated, making it crucial to implement measures to protect the public. In the period from January to September last year, Telco successfully blocked over 300 million scam calls, highlighting the severity of the issue. Subscribers can now opt to enable and disable the international number blocking option based on their specific needs. For example, customers can choose to enable international number blocking as a default setting but disable it when traveling overseas and expecting calls from international numbers. This flexibility ensures that users have control over the service, adapting it to their unique situations. The International Call Blocking Service will effectively block all incoming calls from international numbers, providing a shield against potential scams. It's important to note that customers will still receive calls from Singapore numbers, even those calling from overseas. Here's the exciting part, customers of Singtel, Starhub, M1, and Simba can access this service free of charge starting January 5th. To take advantage of this protective feature, mobile subscribers should reach out to their respective telcos to understand the service's scope and learn how to sign up. IMDA has been proactive in introducing measures to combat scam calls. The telcos have implemented upfront blocking of all international calls with unusually high frequency, a sign of potential scam calls made using automated systems. Additionally, calls with falsified caller IDs using a plus 65 prefix to resemble calls made from Singapore are also promptly identified and blocked. Looking forward, IMDA has ambitious plans to allow customers the option of blocking SMSs from international numbers by mid-2024. This would further restrict scammers' avenues of communication and enhance overall cybersecurity. Minister for Communications and Information Josephine Teo highlighted the importance of the call blocking service, emphasizing its role in protecting the vulnerable from falling victim to scams. As a practical example, Mrs. Teo mentioned how she personally finds the feature useful for safeguarding her elderly parents from potential scams. IMDA underscores the need for the public to stay vigilant, acknowledging that scammers will continue to evolve their methods and tactics. While these measures are effective, there is no foolproof solution and continuous monitoring and additional safeguards are essential. In conclusion, this international call blocking service represents a significant step in the ongoing battle against scams in Singapore. As we navigate the digital landscape, let's stay informed, share our thoughts in the comments section, and most importantly, hit that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to 2230 for more engaging content. Your safety and awareness matter, and together, we can build a more secure online community. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, stay safe and stay informed.